all right guys welcome to a new video today i'm going to be showing you guys a quick workout that i did today I'm going to go over how i warmed up starting off with three three minutes of skipping added some trying to add some tricks finished up with a little shadow boxing get my muscles moving let's get right into it so the way i structured this program is three rounds of conditioning first round is going to be thrusters for 30 seconds then we're going to go right into one twos for 30 seconds we're going to do this for three minutes straight so you're going 30 thrusters 30 one twos back and forth for three minutes next one's going to be inertia wave exact same format we're going to switch it out with shoe shine with dumbbells here you go cool thing about these inertia waves is it keeps the tension on your arms the whole time so you're literally gonna burn out so quick here's the second part of the workout i'm gonna go one two just let my muscles go you can see my muscles working you can see my shoulders my arms my serratus my back everything's working we're gonna finish off on some legs so we're gonna hold a static squat on the bosu for about 30 seconds as soon as the 30 seconds are done, we're going to move right into barbell jump squats. You can add weights if you want, but over a minute and a half, I feel like the 45 pounds is good enough. Try to go for explosive reps every time. Now get my hands wrapped real quick. We're going to get into some boxing. Here we go. All right, round one. We're going to do three rounds. First round, I start off with some lead hand punches, mostly doing my jabs. And here, guys, I'm visualizing an opponent. That's why I like to get in the ring. I like to actually fight during my shadow boxing. And that's how you should be in shadow boxing, too. Make it realistic, work your mind, work on your technique. Here you go, second round. We're gonna work on some combination punches now. And like I said, guys, you want to shadow box with a purpose. So good thing to do is write down what you're going to work on before the round. Make sure you plan your workout so you know what to do. Don't just blindly go into the gym and start doing random stuff. You guys are planning your workout. Make sure you guys are planning your workouts. Last round, we're going to finish off with some freestyle. Here I pick up the intensity a little bit more. Try to imagine the last round of the fight. Both me and my opponent are tired. And then it's about who can push themselves harder. Try to get that win. Try to be more intense as you can see here. Try to throw with more speed in this round. And then we're gonna get right into bag work. I'm gonna do three rounds here as well. In round one, I'm gonna throw the jab only, similar to shadow boxing. I'm visualizing an opponent in front of me. I'm making sure I've always punched through the bag. Or move my head after. Keep my range with my jab. Right on the middle. Your jab, super important guys. Number two, I'm gonna get into some combinations with the body work. So that's what I'm focusing on here. Like I said, guys, you guys wanna always do bag work and shadow boxing with a purpose. So here, my goal was to be more active, throw more combinations and try to finish to the body just like that. Keep it going, keep it flowing. Try to stay creative and really focus on what you're working on. And round three here, it's gonna be the last round of the workout. Today is more of a quicker one because I am getting over being sick. I'm actually very sick during this workout. I'm like sniffling, I'm, my nose is running, but I'm getting through it. I feel like the workout actually made me feel better after. I don't recommend you guys train while you're sick my sickness is more of a just a cold so i can push through my body is not feeling tired i do not recommend you training sick while you have a fever or something like that 
you're gonna slow down your recovery process you're gonna get other people sick in the gym so yeah don't do that and yeah guys that's gonna be it for the workout thank you so much for watching